Hey everyone, it's Spencer from 45 Drives with another Tuesday Tech Tip. And today we're going to be talking about data redundancy in Ceph. So kind of a weird one today. Uh, it's not even really a, a tech tip, more like a tech opinion or a tech discussion, but Tuesday tech opinion really doesn't roll off the tongue as well. Um, but basically today we're going to be talking about data redundancy within Ceph. Uh, specifically, we're going to be addressing uh, some Reddit posts and some mailing list items that have been going on in the past little bit, discussing 2 plus 1 erasure code uh, versus 2 rep, and you know which one is better, uh, or either of them good. Uh, so we're just going to jump right into it and start discussing 2 rep first. So two rep, pretty simple, two replica. Uh, within Ceph, that just means that there's two copies of your data uh, on whatever your failure domain may be. So if it's OSD level, you have two hard drives with two different copies, or if it's server level, two servers with two different copies. Um, is that safe for your data? If you think about it, not, not really, right? If you, if you lost a single server in a two rep setup, you're now at a point where you only have one copy of your data remaining. Um, and as anyone, any of the storage admins out there know, uh, one copy is the equivalent to no copies. So that's not a great place to be in. <clears throat> Another more obscure reason why 2rep is just not something um, we recommend or really do here uh, is when it comes to like repairing objects. Uh, in, in Ceph, you do checksum checks in order to make sure that all of your objects are in line. Uh, in the event that an object is malformed or degraded, it compares that with other objects with the same checksum and decides which one is the real one. In 2rep, you can imagine there's no authoritative way for Ceph to figure out which of these two objects is the actual object. Um, there's just as likely that the damaged object is considered the true and proper object, which then clobbers the actual object you need. Um, what that means basically is it's, it's not the end of the world, you can manage this, but it involves a lot of manually going in and telling Ceph which object you need it to repair, uh, which is just a time-consuming process uh, and is generally something we want to avoid whenever possible. We want Ceph to be able to make its own decisions. So for that reason, we here at 45 Drives generally recommend against 2 rep. Um, anytime we're doing a rep-focused uh, workload, so that would be you know, uh, VM storage or very high-performant databases, uh, we generally recommend 3 rep, which of course you, you take a hit in data efficiency, but is it really that bad compared to all of the time it takes to manually repair objects or the you know, danger of only having one copy in the event of a failure or no copies in the event of two failures? With that being said, is 2 plus 1 any better? Um, 2 plus 1 erasure code, so you have three chunks spread across your failure domains. Uh, so either on three OSDs or three servers or whatever that may be. <coughs> if you think about it though, that's really not any safer than 2 rep. Um, in 2 rep, you lose two, two of your data pieces and then you no longer have your data. Uh, same thing in 2 plus 1. You have one parity and two data chunks. So if you lose two chunks, there's no real way for you to rebuild that data. <coughs> So you still essentially have the same level of failure, only two possible of your failure domain can fail before you start losing data. Um, but it is still better in, in some senses, right? Uh, you're not faced with that object inconsistency problem we mentioned in 2rep. So you are safer in the sense that Ceph will be able to repair itself in a more effective manner uh, against like inconsistent PGs and inconsistent objects, but you're still essentially in the same spot of if you lose two pieces of your data, um, you're at a point where you can't really recover properly. With that being said, um, if you wanted to have a more resilient erasure code profile, you're looking at things like 4 plus 2. And for the budget conscious data storage admins out there, uh, that's a lot of servers. That means you need six servers, generally speaking. Um, and that is, can be of a significant cost, right, having six servers. Um, that's default Ceph behavior. Ceph by default will distribute one object on each of your failure domains. So one on each server, one on every OSD, so on and so forth. Defaults are cool, but we can kind of play around with defaults, right? Defaults are just a suggestion, um, which is what we hit at 45 Drives do. Um, we, generally speaking, will deploy a 4 plus 2 erasure code using a custom crush map that will then allow us to deploy a 4 plus 2, that more resilient erasure coding, on three or four servers rather than on six. <clears throat> and the way we do that is pretty simple. Uh, instead of putting one object on each of our failure domain objects, uh, we instead put two. So we do object pairing, so we get our chunks, our six chunks total, put two on server one, two on server two, two on server three. Um, that might sound like it doesn't actually do anything compared to just a normal two plus one, 
Um, but if you think about it, having two chunks on every server still gives you that server level failure, so you can use a, lose a full server. Um, but if you do lose a full server, you're no longer at a point where just a single hard drive failure on one of those other servers could start damaging uh, data. You have the same level of server resiliency, but also an additional layer of OSD resiliency underneath all of that. So it ends up being a much safer profile, and it's generally where we've gone to deploy uh, erasure-coded focus workloads in the past. So I guess kind of the, the long and short of this is that 2-rep and 2 plus 1 really aren't the safest ways to keep your data. Uh, of course, if, if you need to keep your data in that way, there's, there's nothing inherently wrong about it. You're still talking about a full server of failure, which realistically that doesn't happen terribly often. Um, of course, even with all this in mind, even if you do everything right and you got your 3-rep or your 4 plus 2 EC and you're very resilient to data failure, um, golden rule still applies. <laughs> Erasure coding and replica are not a replacement for you know, a backup solution. So even if you are the most resilient storage solution in the world, you're still not resilient unless you have that backup copy. Um, bonus points if it's an offsite backup, uh, because how else are you gonna protect yourself against the meteorites? With that in mind, uh, I think we're pretty much done for this little tech discussion today. Uh, hope you guys got something good out of it. Um, we'll chuck this YouTube link into that Reddit discussion we were looking at, and we'll see you guys next time.